Or when we're trying to find the inverse, we could initially run into trouble if we switch x and y, and I end up having this. If you try to solve this uh, by like subtracting 45 or something like that, you're going to have a problem because you have two y's. Like, which one are you going to solve for? You can't combine them because one's y squared and one's y, and so you kind of get into some trouble there. Um, so here's a hint, is that if we factor this trinomial first, it's going to actually factor in a unique way. It doesn't always do this, but it, this one will factor in a unique way so that I can find the inverse. So let me go back to, to this, and let me factor. I notice that these all are divisible by 5, so I'm going to pull out a GCF of 5 first. So 5 times x squared gives me 5x squared. 5 times 6x gives me 30x. And 5 times 9 gives me 45. And once I factor that, I can now factor this trinomial, and I get x and x. To get 9, I'm going to use 3 and 3. And everything's positive. So now you notice that these two things are the same, which means I can push them together. So I end up getting this. And now this is helpful because I went from having x squared and x to just having one x in the problem now. So now when I switch x and y, I'm going to be able to solve it um, a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and switch x and y. So x equals 5, y plus 3 squared. Now to solve this, I need to get rid of the 5 first. So I'm going to divide by 5. So there's a ninja 1 there. So this is 1 fifth x equals y plus 3 squared. Now I'm going to square root it. Right. Unlike the one up here where it told me that I was only looking at the negative part, um, I do want the positive part of this square root. It's called the principal square root. So my square root and my squared cancel out, so I want positive square root of 1 fifth x is going to equal y plus 3. So the only thing I need to do here is subtract 3. So square root of 1 over 5x minus 3 equals y. Just make sure that your minus 3 is not underneath that radical. It should be on the outside of it. So my inverse equation is f inverse of x equals square root of 1 over 5x minus 3. Again, uh, it's not pretty, but a lot of times inverses aren't.